Hey y'all, I'm back with my third and fourth pages of the mini album that I'm working on. And you guys saw the first two pages, the title page, and then of course, um, the first, I guess, or the first and second page, which the first page was sort of a title page. And then the second page was another uh, six by eight. They were both six by eight layouts. And this one's going to be a little bit more of a project lifestyle. And I'm going to use the fuse tool. And so I'll get to that here in just a second. It's that's the cord that you see it's heating up right now. And so I'm just using some cards from the project life kit. And then the uh, pictures that I'm using are the day that I found out that I was pregnant at the doctor's office and then my first appointment. And so I'm going to use those two photos on this layout. And right now I'm, I'm thinking about using this, this pocket design, which is, I don't even know what, what it's called, but it's, two three by fours and one four by six, but I actually don't end up using it. I go back to using the four three by four photo pockets. Um, I'm just kind of decorating using a few, I've already pulled out a few things, some things from crepe paper, of course, and then some pseudo calico letters. And then here are some sequins that I got in a pseudo calico kit a while back. And I want to create my own little photo pocket. And then I'm also pulling some little wood veneer sequence too. Now I do have a glass mat and when I was doing this video I completely forgot to use it. So I am definitely using my fuse tool on my desk which you probably should not do but it really didn't do anything but I would not recommend doing that just because I think the whole point of getting some sort of work surface like a glass mat or um, using some sort of something else. I think I've seen somebody use like a cookie sheet or something like that. I don't know if that's those are the right things to use. I do know that the glass mat is safe for sure. So I think that's what you're supposed to use. I just completely forgot. So what I did was I put sequins at the bottom and then I put used the fuse fuse tool like um, horizontally across and then I um, put half of a three by four card at the top and then I'm gonna put the other half on the back side so that it so that it's obviously when you turn it over it's you can see the sequence from the other side but I also have fixed up the other uh, three the other half of that three by four card so that both sides are uh, decorated and the heart the wood veneer heart that I'm using and the labels and the alphas are all from pseudo calico kit and let's see I'm using a date stamp not really sure where that came from it looks like it's an October afternoon um, roller date stamp and so I believe I put either documented or noted or something like that on it but I messed it up and so I had to go back and use another label and then I'll I'll re stamp that it just didn't stamp good enough for me so um, I'm gonna try that again and if you guys are wondering yes I have had the baby but when I did do film this video I had not had the baby and so something like really kind of tragic happened not it's not like it's not super serious but my old computer fell off my lap as I was doing stuff I had filmed this video and then I was in the process of um, making the project and uploading it and all kinds of stuff and then it fell off my lap and the whole screen just like you couldn't even see what was going on in the screen so I had to get a new computer which is not all that bad I just it kind of sucks that I had to like spend the money on a new one, but, um, it is, I am trying to figure out the new iMovie or not the new iMovie, but it's just kind of a different design than my old MacBook. And so, uh, I just haven't uploaded this video. So it is, I made this, uh, page like prior to having the baby, but obviously it's been like a couple weeks and I'm finally getting the voiceover done. So, um, that's just a little bit of information. And then right now I'm just doing the backside. And what I've done was I've cut um, these three by four cards diagonally, and I'm going to use the fuse tool again on that side. And it gets a little bit tricky. You have to measure it almost like perfectly so that the pieces will fit. And before you use the fuse tool diagonally or horizontally, I mean, however you're going to use it, or vertically, whichever, however you choose, you have to make sure if you want both sides decorated, you have to make sure they're decorated and ready to go before you use that fuse tool. Because once you use that, it's done. I mean, like it's locked in. So I decorated both sides of those three by four cards that were cut diagonally. 
and then I'm going to go through with this goose tool and um, again not use my glass mat that I have sitting below ready to go I just completely forgot once I started <clears throat> this video so and I'm kind of rounding off those top corners because it, it, it would have looked kind of funny to me um, leaving those straight like kind of a straight edge so I just rounded those off so that it would match all the rest of the pictures in the cards so I'm looking for something else to stick there and you'll see here that I have to like focus on how I'm actually cutting it because if I cut it like it's really strange like if I cut it one way it won't fit perfectly like it but so turning it the opposite way to cut it so it took me a little bit of time I've practiced on like one other one and I don't know measurements and getting stuff like to fit perfectly is not my thing at all so I had to obviously like right now I'm taking out the scissors to try to get it to fit perfectly and it doesn't it's not perfect but it, it works out just okay for me and the fuse tool gives it kind of a nice little it's just different I don't know you can create the pages how you want to create and I really really have enjoyed um, playing with it so and then looks like I'm using some of these I think they're from creative retreat maybe I could be wrong but these alphas I believe are creative retreat and I ordered them they might be like 14 or 15 dollars or something like that and there there's like an outline of the letters and then there's where you can fill them in and so uh, I'm just using the solid um, alphas I'm not gonna use any color I'm just using the VersaFine ink and as I was stamping those I realized that I probably wasn't going to get it exactly perfect, like lined up. And so I just kind of roughly, um, you know, stamped it so that it wouldn't be, so that it would be more intentional rather than like I screwed it up. So, and I'm looking for something else to put next to um, the title of that. So it says first appointment, obviously. So I... I'm just going to finish decorating that card and then those little stickers are Ellie Studio and the enamel dots that I'm using are the, from the On Trend collection. And this little book is from Hobby Lobby. It's the, I, I believe it's, oh, I think it's Me and My Big Ideas, but I don't think I found anything that, in there that I wanted to use. So, so far I've liked the way that this is turning out and I'm going to probably pull like one or two more elements and then be done with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the process and I also have a process video coming up that I'll share with you guys pretty soon. So it looks like I'm looking for something to stamp on this wood veneer because it was kind of plain. So I did find some ink and then the word love and I'm going to stick that on and I think that's going to be the last thing that I do. So have a good week and I will see you guys soon. Bye.